vitiligo. That's what we're going to actually be doing next. Now, many people have vitiligo and they don't know how to conceal it. So the first thing that we're going to do is to show you how to apply the right cream and product to the skin. We're going to use Caramask foundation or a cream with a brush. You take the brush, you use circular movements to warm the product before actually applying it. And using what we call stippling movements, I'm now going to apply the product to the skin. What we call a patting movement. And with this, it will actually cover the area. So now the eyes are obviously kept closed. What I'm going to do is build up the white patches using a slightly darker color. So using the same stipple movement over the eye, making sure that I don't press too hard, but we get the area covered. Making sure we go right into the grooves and right into the areas and blending at the same time. Just building up slightly. We call it layering. Now you can see there is some to be done just under the eye, which is a very delicate area. So I'm now going to use a sponge. So using the sponge, I'd always recommend that you use the straight part because this enables you to get right under the eye. Using the sponge, as I said, under the eye is very delicate. I am now using the sponge to do the rest of the face using the same stippling movement and that's pushing it into the skin and blending up to the hairline. And now we're going to use Caramas Wonderful Powder. I'm going to in this instance go for the medium. Before applying to the face, shake the brush. So starting on the nose, we're doing the patting movement first and then the circling movement. The powder is obviously used to give that matte finish. And now as you can see, I'm still patting the face and making sure that the powder is everywhere, giving it that smooth, fantastic finish to work on such a beautiful face. You can see where it's enhanced her natural features without actually applying any different types of makeup. We've actually done her hair to create that finished look. You too can look like this by using Caramask.